The Bible says, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren, and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. See, so this thing started early. Uh, when therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain of the other of them should go up to Jerusalem with the apostles and elders about this question. So they were going to throw a big meeting up at Jerusalem. And, it, and down in verse 5 it says, But there rose up a certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed. Now these were believers that said it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. And the apostles and elders came together for con to consider this matter. And when there had been much disputing, oh, I can't believe that in the church, yeah, yeah. much oh, disputing, uh, Peter rose up and said to them, men and brethren, you know how that a good time ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel. And God which knoweth the hearts bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them, Jew and Gentile there, purifying their hearts through faith, by faith. Now, therefore, why tempt you God and put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear? But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we shall be saved even as they. Verse 24, uh, for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, averting your souls, saying you must be circumcised and keep the law, watch it, to whom we gave no such command. Amen. I said, we didn't say that. We didn't say that. Uh, and a, a fellow said, well, I think you've I think you got to live it. Well, when it comes to your salvation, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh, if you think you're saved by works, Paul said, Christ has become of none effect to you, over in Galatians 4, 5, 4. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you're fallen from grace. I tell folks when they get saved that God will accept you right where you are. Uh, Romans 5, 8, God commendeth his love toward us. I said it's toward you right now. Uh, God commendeth his love toward, toward us in the while we were yet sinners. He'll save you right where you are. Yeah. But he, he loved you enough to do that, but he also loved you enough not to leave you there. He'll bring you along. He'll bring you along. Uh, Paul said, uh, Now do I persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. And a fellow said, well, where did you get that from? He said, well, I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. He said, I got it from the Lord. And he said in Galatians 2.21, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness came by the, come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Uh, o foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? Uh, then he says this, receive you the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish, having begun in the spirit, are you now made perfect in the flesh? Hmm. It's kind of interesting. He says, not only are you saved by grace, now you've got to watch your walk. For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves. We understand that. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. But a verse you should remember, Colossians 2, 6, says this, as you have therefore received Christ Jesus. How do you receive him? By grace through faith. Amen. It says, as you have therefore received Christ Jesus, watch it, so walk ye in him. How do you live it? You live it the same way you got it. Duh. As you have therefore received him, by grace through faith, so walk ye in him the same way you got it. Thank God. It's all by God's grace, all by his power. And we get caught up in a lot of issues. I don't know how many, there was about 60 different, 70 different Baptists, and everybody's got a little different plan on this and plan on that. You need to have your salvation down. Uh, uh, fellas, uh, some one group says, well, you've got to be baptized just right. You've got to confess just right. You've got to believe just right. You've got to repent just right. 
You can believe Simon the sorcerer did. You can confess Balaam did. You can repent. Pharaoh did. You can be baptized. Judas was. Except the man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. I introduce Mr. Samuel Gerard. Turn the meeting over to him. Come on up, Sam. I'll let you do what you need to do. Thank you for being uh, with us. We want to we want to show you love. Don't make yourself at home. You're a child of God. Uh, you're make yourself just right at home here. All right, brother Sam. Testing. 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 Thank you, brother Tom, Pastor Tom. Let's see.